Capitalism is our only hope today against the Lord Protector. This guy, the communists in the South, there, there are a lot of issues that plague this world and it's going to be an interesting playthrough, especially since we managed to do the Harmonist route. I wasn't really intending it, it just kind of happened, but we'll continue on with being the good guys for now. But there are a lot of enemies that are, will probably be attacking us and we're the good guys, so we have to do the good guy thing. We have to be a beacon of hope and I guess that might involve conquering a few places, but yeah, look at that. Scoundrel's Haven. I think if we have to declare an offensive war against Vizera, it's okay, but for the most part, I think we should be trying to do, you know, the good guy thing. And we'll begin to spread pamphlets. We'll begin convincing our people that we need to be getting ready for a war because there are going to be a few offensive wars that we have to do to liberate certain peoples, to defend our interests in the area, and to allow us to stand up for freedom. I Trust me, it's a complete good guy thing to do. Oh, I just noticed we actually declare war on them through decision, not focus. So we can just do this, and then in 60 days we'll declare war. That's that's interesting. Whatever, I don't think their army is that strong. Yeah, they, yeah, we don't need to make a proper army. We can just roll over them. It looks like the Great Trade Council, or whatever this is, is gone too. So that's, that's good. So they're new leaders to the political parties. Like, I don't know. Whenever I hear Trade Council, I just immediately think of Trade Federation. I don't know. Is, is that just me? Interesting, I guess. Okay, and we're at war and they only have one division on our border. Yes, this should be easy then. <laughs> yep. Okay, and now we're doing this decision to integrate them as a core state, you know, we're just doing the right thing. We saved them from the criminals that were ruling that land and now the people are under a democratic rule and are soon to be completely, completely included in our democracy. And we're continuing to be nice, sharing our wealth. I've never seen something so good, sharing the wealth. It decreases the support of other ideologies and because then they know that the harmonists, you know, we're the good guys. They don't need to support those other ideologies. They're gonna be fine. And to keep tabs on our enemies, to just have a better idea of what exactly is going on, we're going to create a spy agency. I guess, is this, this the, the one we're supposed to make? Let's just make, you know, the, the agency that embodies everything that we stand for today and that we have always stood for throughout all the episodes that have ever been created on this channel. And with the good guys themselves summoned, we will recruit our first operative and we'll send, we'll send a bell over to Hawkland just to maybe get some more intelligence over there because we're planning a future, a future liberation from this, um, uh, this guy who definitely doesn't have free elections, so. Wait, do we, wait, what? Wait a second, hmm. Good, he's raiding people, yeah, that's it, that's the thing. He's, we can't have this guy going around raiding people. Okay, and we're at war with Hawkland now. Looks like uh, they're they're kind of giving us some issues with naval supremacy. Okay, there, and then we can put these guys over here on shore bombardment, or naval invasion support, we'll see. Hopefully we can land, they might not even be. Uh, they have garrisons, but we should be able to break them, and then we can invade over here afterwards. Okay, and that doesn't capitulate them, but then we can just invade over here where probably most of their divisions are. If they even have any, I don't know. Oh yeah, they definitely do have an army somewhere. And I will do not every man a king, every creature a king, sure, yeah, see? Definitely the good guys today. Okay, let's try to invade the rest of their nation. I hope this isn't too incredibly difficult or anything. And there we go. They've been liberated. People need no fear the raiders anymore. This must be some sort of modifier I didn't realize exists, but apparently I can trade one civilian factory for nine rubber. That's convenient, I guess. I don't understand, but oh well. Hmm, well, it looks like people justified on the Griffodian Empire, and they've actually got pretty strong. Don Claw might actually be a serious threat today, possibly, depending on if these other people keep doing silly things and declaring war on him individually. Hopefully he gets to the Herzmerz and does that and kind of ruins any chance he has. And we will now do some of our fighter focuses so we can get to fighter twos soon because I was kind of being lazy with researching fighters so I need to catch up there. Because I'd really like to win the air war against the communists in the south. They don't have very many planes so I think if we build a really good air force that could give us a great advantage over them if they are to attack us. 
and to the Empire, I don't really think we can get air superiority because they'll start building a massive air force if wh whoever unites the Herzland will. Okay, and this is good too. The Griffonian Republic has invited us to the Republican path. We'll of course stand by our friends. They may be non-aligned, but we both represent the good interests of this world. We'll make the good guy pact. Yes, we will join. There we are. Oh wait, oh, so the, even though they're communists, they're still in this Republican pact too. That's good. Oh wait, the Republic is at war and, oh wait, are they in an offensive war? Yeah, well, it, it's to liberate these people who definitely weren't elected and the Socialist Republic of Scandinavia openly attacked and puppeted the free northern commune. So it's our duty to <laughs> go save them. Let's see if they'll let us join the war. No, not yet, but they will soon. Oh, and they declared war on the Kingdom of Vadin at the same time during a civil war. That's kind of rude of them. I guess they did betray their harmonist origins, and now this guy's in charge. So, and there's a civil war with fascism rising, so I think, yeah, Vadina kind of is doomed also. They need to be liberated. We'll maybe, we'll help out there too. Okay, and we actually only got two less war score than, oh, they already took some stuff. There we are, okay, so we got some more states. Uh, pretty decent factories, but mostly just room to build more stuff, because our industry is kind of filling up our country at this point, so that's good. Oh, and Broadfield won. Whoa, look at that Broadfield, wow. Okay, and we got the majority of the war score here, so we can kind of unite our empire, probably these two chunks, hopefully. Oh, they click... Wait. Oh, that must- oh, that's just because of the Civil War, yeah. Wait, that was kind of weird. It wouldn't let us take anything. Was that like a bug with the peace deal or something? And now we finally can do the Home of the Free Focus. We finally done it. We finally saved the day. Also, uh, the Republic declared war on Fethesia. I guess we'll join the war if they'll let us and help out. They, they don't seem to be doing so well. Uh, that's- that's kind of weird, but we'll- we'll try our best to save this kind of botched war. Yeah, there we go, and we got the most war score again, so we can kind of, you know, take some of these states. Well, some border gore was, um, unintentionally made. I may have accidentally taken this, and the Republic took this. Only if they would give this back. I guess we should probably give our stuff of theirs back too, just for border gore's sake. Oh, this is the Strawberry Duchies core state. Ah, I have a, I have a good idea. Oh, they haven't generated any world tension, but we could release the Strawberry Duchy as our puppet, and then we could try to restore the Strawberry Duchy by conquest of Bronze Hill. Yes, so then we have a legitimate claim. We were trying to liberate the Strawberry Duchy, yes. I wanted to help Equestria, but I don't think there's a possibility of them having success here. They, there's nothing we can do, even if we set volunteers at this point, it's over. God, I don't know how we're gonna save this continent. It's gonna be dominated by Chrysalis, Sombra, and Serov. Like, they're just gonna have their three 
giant chunks of that continent. I don't even know what to do there. No, why, why? This just keeps getting worse. This just keeps getting worse. The ma royal marriage, really? What is this? Yeah, what is this? Gah. Yeah, this continent I think is doomed. What are we gonna do? This is gonna be so tricky to uh, to take out the Crystal Empire changelings like United thing. Oh, Floena is actually doing something. They just puppeted the Avian Federation. Wow, I've actually never seen them go expansionist or do anything. And they're harmonists too. Well, they were kind of aggressive there by puppeting them, but oh, never mind. Now we're at war with them. Oh, that's sad. Well, I guess they did do evil. That's what they get. They were harmonious, but they decided to attack. We'll send an army to help. And now by making Fethesia an integrated puppet, we've over doubled our military factories. So that's decent. I guess we can like start producing a lot more stuff now. Yes. Yes, the Era Darkened. They attacked our ally, the Griffonian Republic, and cleaned up the border core. Oh, I was worried I was going to have to leave the faction just in the name of border gore cleaning, but they did it for us. That's so nice. That's great. Uh, that's, wow. I'm actually impressed. I did not expect it. Oh, and wait, our puppet's making magical infantry divisions for us. We'll put it in on this border with this war that we're never going to win. Okay, finally, we're finally breaking them. At least one of their divisions just got overrun. Nope, oh, there they goes all the other ones. Okay, finally, huh. Okay, we have another puppet, the Avian Federation. Anyway, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.